Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. I think after this I'm going to take a break from building war, war vehicles. It seems like each consecutive, consecutive war vehicle video that comes out is less, viewed less and less. So it looks like, looks like everyone is starting to get war series out. So I'm going to have to switch it up a little bit. However, today we're going to attempt to try to make a patrol vessel. A patrol vessel is bigger than a fighter but smaller than a corvette or escort they're like scouts in a way they can go longer distances than fighters but they're not exactly interplanetary so i'm not going to give it the uh, nuclear engine and it does have the means to defend itself so i will be putting two missiles on this thing now unlike larger crafts it will not have a place to store the missiles the missiles will sort of kind of be naked attached to the sides. Maybe I'll put them underneath like a, a shielded thing, but other than that, it's not going to have a whole lot of armor. Not a whole lot of armor at all. Hmm. Oh, you know what? That's a good idea. I can just use this. It's the same amount of fuel, but it might work a lot better for, for what I'm actually going for. There we are. A little bit of more boxier look. But the best thing about that is, is that I can actually throw on the armor and not have to worry about that curve all right this is kind of coming together now there we go not quite sure where i was going with these fins i mean i could definitely make them work but something's missing oh that's kind of perfect for the well if it if it goes in right hold on let me check now nah. i mean uh, uh. oh boy so close okay i could make i could make this work just let me go ahead and I'll just have the armor a little farther away from the main hall. I mean, in a sense, that, that would make more sense because it's like a little bit of a buffer between the main hall and the actual armor, right? I think. Because it's higher up now, I kind of give it this nice slope look. It's a little bit better. Okay, hold up. I almost forgot. I need a place to put the missiles. Ah, gosh damn it. Alright. Got the hall pretty much figured out. Oh, that's interesting. Kind of reminds me of like little winglets on the sides or something. Could work, especially if I was to put like RCS thrusters on there. <laughs> that, that actually looks kind of sweet. I think I will do one thing though. I think I'll extend its range just a pinch. All right, go ahead and add some more hull plating here. Okay, there we go. Just push it right on out. Give it like a little edge on the top. It's kind of nice. Yeah, I'll cover up. I'll cover up the bottom. Just I'll do it a little, just a little bit. Just cover up the bottom there, just a pinch. Nothing too fancy. Huh? I'm not liking that undercarriage. It was okay at first, but then it's kind of messing with the uh, the feel. Because at this point, the armor is negligible, right? It's not gonna really do anything. Maybe bounce off some uh, firework shots. But if this thing gets tapped. <laughs> This thing gets tagged by uh, something like one of those hammer torpedoes. It, 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 it's just gonna, it's just gonna disintegrate. It's just gonna poof. So while armor's still good to have, maneuverability is much better to have. So I think I'm gonna very light armor, just enough to give it some survivability if it gets into like a little firefight with the uh, firework cannons with another craft. Some survivability. All right, there we go. These are probably would be more classified towards heavy missiles. So a patrol boat having two of these things does make it rather lethal, especially if there's a pack of these things and they all fire their missiles at once towards a cruiser. And the cruiser's gonna have some problems, like a pack of wild dogs going after somebody. Not as ferocious or as mean as wolves, but still a major problem nevertheless. It almost makes me want makes me want to redesign the cruiser and uh, perhaps give it a slightly larger weapons bay in order to include these missiles to try to take out smaller targets instead of using full-fledged torpedoes. It's kind of overkill. I think I know how to disguise this this monopropellant tank. I can do this. Eh, I mean, it kind of kind of blends in a little bit. Not perfect, but it's better than nothing. Okay. All right. This this kind of works. Check check that out. It's kind of got that the the like I said. It's sort of a theme I'm going 
with right now with the the dark background and the white stripe usually in, in the back is like a larger white striped area and the front is like two or three smaller stripes it's just kind of a theme it could change and in, in, you know could change in the future but for now it's just kind of a go-to default theme i kind of like it well there she is got the flag on her got the rcs rcs fuel got the armor got the stripes about 2000 plus meters per second delta v it could probably land probably oh i take that back it doesn't have 2000 meters per second delta v that was the uh that was the ksp uh reading the missiles hey boy so it's 1300 meters per second delta v which is still okay it's still good what cat what do you want let me do some engine testing real quick let's see 1300 meters per second let's try oh whoa wait a minute wait wait a minute what oh that's because this stupid thing is reading the ah stop it wait wait hold on what oh geez crackers okay so that's uh 1100 meters per second i do like the looks of it though it's kind of shiny Ugh. it look like steampunk engines it's the best way i can describe them about the same 1100 meters per second try some spikes here uh 1200 meters per second but a lot of deep T oh, a lot of TWR. A lot. That would make this thing extremely maneuverable. Oh, with these bad boys. 1300 meters per second at a TWR of almost one, which is pretty good. I'd have to bring them on in just a little bit. That's what they would sort of look like. Eh, what about these? Oh, wow. That's eight engines all together. Eh, same thing. About 1100 meters per second. TWR of almost two, <laughs> a TWR of s over six, a uh, Delta V of almost uh, about 900, a little over 900. I mean, that's a lot of power and a lot of maneuverability. It's like that would that that would really put you in your seat for sure. Just not a whole lot of Delta V. You'd burn out quick. All right, so we've got the Delta V of 1300 with 0.48 TWR, or the Delta V of 1200 meters per second with a TWR of 139. TWR would probably save our lives. So for an extra 100 meters per second, the spike engine probably is our best or a better bet because at least we have power now to get out of the way, you know, and still having maintaining a rel relatively decent Delta V. Although I wish we had more Delta V. I was thinking of like drop tanks not quite sure how it uh, I would be able to do that okay I think I managed to actually give this thing drop 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 tanks yep I can speak English well that bumped it up to an even 1700 meters per second Delta V nice still at a good TWR drop tanks baby all right let's try this again and lights they're stronger, but it's, uh, really, the flag just does not want to illuminate. It is pretty cool, though. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I say pew, pew because I really, I really don't feel like doing, doing sound effects right now. Pew, pew is all you're going to get out of me right now. And she's kind of really steady right now. Oh, oh, there she goes. RCS is on a fire. Okay, so the parachutes aren't working. We're going to do this. Oh, no, there they go. Okay, slowed down pretty hard there. That's nice. It says we have a TWR of almost three, so it should be something, right? All right, now let's go ahead and take off and go back into space. I mean, I know what's going on here. We're going to need a reaction well, well, wheel. Seriously. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on that um, aerodyn not aerodynamic, but you know, the reaction wheel that's meant for... Uh, oh yeah, that's that's not helping at all either too. <laughs> the reaction wheel that's meant for um, space planes. Oh, stay on target. Yeah, this is not an aerodynamic vehicle whatsoever. But the bright side is, is that I know for a fact that it has plenty of fuel to land on a moon. Just uh, really nothing for air any atmosphere whatsoever. This is the prototype 
patrol vessel or patrol warship or patrol craft or whatever you want to say. A few more things to adjust, but I think it's mm, 80, 85% complete. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Well, everybody, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I am Veos signing off and have a good night. Oh, let's see if uh, this works. Yes, sir. It sure does. Boom. And then we're gone. Okay. So yeah, we're going to have to I definitely have to deal with some center of mass issues. All right. Later, everybody. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, yeah. Yeah, big size difference. You can definitely tell which one is the smaller class. This one's got more cannons and more, more missiles and greater range. You can definitely tell which is which. Yeah.